Hey everyone, not too long ago I made a tutorial for AngularJS that showed how to use external JavaScript libraries in your TypeScript project. Uh, so as just a refresher here, uh, if you're using TypeScript and you want to include a JavaScript library, you're going to be missing all of the typings. So in the previous tutorial, uh, we got around this by adding a declare, uh, which was pretty generic for uh, a, a JavaScript library that, that we were using. In this case, we were using JS Shaw. Uh, since having made that video and writing that tutorial, I received a lot of feedback, a lot of people saying uh, that I was missing the point of TypeScript by just doing a generic declare. Uh, I, I want to follow up to that and say uh, I, I was not missing the point. Uh, it's not all JavaScript libraries have typings available to them. Many do. You could use uh, definely typed or, or um, typings, which we're going to use in this tutorial, uh, but they're not available for every JavaScript library. And that's that's a point that I really wanted to make clear. Uh, so in this tutorial, we're actually going to use the same JavaScript library because fortunately for us, there are typings available, third party, um, but we're going to see how to use them within a project. It, it won't be AngularJS. Uh, if you do want to see the Angular JS, so it's Angular 2, I'm going to go ahead and include a link to that uh, video um, inside of the comments of this particular video. Uh, but we're just going to do a generic TypeScript project and keep things really simple. Uh, but the knowledge that you gain uh, should be transferable. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to create a new project on our desktop. So go ahead and, and boot up your command prompt or terminal and type in the following. So we're going to say make directory uh, typings project. You can call it really whatever you want. So I've created it on my desktop here. Um, and the next thing that we want to do is we want to navigate into that project and we want to say touch and let's go ahead and call this main.ts. This is going to be our TypeScript uh, file. All right. So the next thing that we want to do is we actually want to initialize a new JavaScript project. So we can say npm init and then hyphen hyphen y, uh, which will be uh, sort of a silent mode. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, my my typings project here. Um, I'll keep it in the background, uh, but we do have a package.json file now, and we do have a main.ts file. Now what we want to do is we want to install any uh, dependencies for this project. So we want to install uh, not only JS Shaw, but we also want to install TypeScript in case it's not global. So we can do that by saying, uh, in my case, sudo npm install, and we want to say js shaw space type script hyphen hyphen save. So at a minimum, you'll need js shaw. All right, with that installed, uh, we can press along here. Uh, since this will be a TypeScript project, we need a TypeScript configuration file. So we can say tsc hyphen hyphen init. And it created a ts config file for us. So the, the way that we're going to install typings into our project here, um, I know that there's uh, definitely typed, but we're going to be using a different one called typings. And that could be installed by running the following with npm. So I'm going to use sudo again, npm install. This time I'm going to make it global. And I'm going to say typings. That'll take a moment to install. All right. So before, before we go ahead and, and install the actual typings for JS Shaw, uh, which is a hashing library, let's go ahead and start adding some code. And we'll see where the benefits come in in a moment. So. Go ahead and open up your project. Uh, I'm going to be opening the entire project in Atom by GitHub. Uh, that's my preferred editor as of right now. Uh, so right now I have an empty main.ts file. So we're going to add some code. So we're going to add a new class. So let's say class Shaw. And inside of this class, we have a constructor. And let's go ahead and define some variables that will be public to this class. So we're going to say Shaw object. And let's give that a type of any. 
and let's say hash and give that a type of string. All right, so we do have npm installed in our project, or not npm, we do have JS SHA installed, the JavaScript library we installed it uh, with npm, um, so it exists in our node modules. Uh, so what we want to do now, and you'll see where the errors come in, but we want to say this dot SHA object equals new JS SHA SHA 512, so we're going to use a 512 ha hashing algorithm, text, and put a semicolon on that. So you'll notice JS SHA is highlighted in my Atom editor. Uh, although JS SHA is a very valid function inside of this JavaScript library, um, our TypeScript uh, configuration and, and compiler doesn't know about it uh, because it's just vanilla JavaScript. It's no, it has no typings to it. But we'll get to that in a second. So let's go ahead and add the rest of our code here. So we're going to say this dot SHA object dot update. This is a test. So in theory, that would actually uh, be hashed. Finally, what we can do is say this dot hash equals this dot SHA object dot get hash and we want to return it as hexadecimal and save. Uh, so what we can do now, now that uh, we know that we're experiencing some, some drama here for the JS SHA library, uh, we can actually install the typings for it. So we can say typings install JS SHA save and then ambient. So we're, we're using the ambient tag uh, because we're only installing the type definitions, we're not installing the JavaScript library. So, as far as our compiler is concerned, um, we have the compiler has to assume that the JavaScript library will in fact exist after it gets compiled down to JavaScript, versus um, the compiler saying, "Hey, this this code must exist." So let's go ahead and install the typings. And you'll notice that what it did was it it downloaded them to a directory called uh, typings and inside of main we got ambient typings and we've got JS SHA. So at this point what we can do is we can actually do an import now. So we can say import star so the asterisk as JS SHA from JS SHA uh, because JS SHA is actually uh, what we have inside of the ambient uh, directory here. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go to our tsconfig.json and we need to, well, first off, let me let me run it. Let's let's compile it. So let's say tsc. And you'll notice that there's a few a few duplicate errors, uh, which is all right. It it um, it's easily fixable. So what we want to do now is go into our tsconfig file. And we want to exclude a few things from uh, our TypeScript compiler. So we want to exclude um, typings slash browser dot d dot ts. And we also want to exclude typing slash browser uh, the entire directory. So we can save that. Uh, you can see that our error has gone away here. Uh, line nine is no longer receiving uh, an error for js sha because our typings exist uh, if i say tsc and uh it should compile see there was no errors there so now let's see this this whole thing in action we're actually going to use this class we're going to say var s any equals new sha and then what we want to do is we want to say console.log hash s dot hash because it's a it's just a public public property here. Um, so again, we're not we're we're not building a web application, we're not building an Angular application. So in order to run this, we're going to use Node, which you should have because you have Node Package Manager. So we're going to say uh, if you if you need to compile it again, go ahead and compile it. Uh, my editor actually does compile it automatically when I hit save. 
but yours may not. I'm going to say node main.js, main sorry, because it actually compiles it to JavaScript. And you can see uh, it actually did print out my hash as expected. Uh, so this, this is, um, you definitely want to use typings for most of your type, TypeScript applications, whether that be Angular or something else. Uh, but do, do keep in mind, I'll say this again, not all type definitions will exist for every JavaScript library out there. It'll exist for the popular libraries, but uh, do not get your hopes up if they do not exist for the library that you're trying to use.